Hi everybody. I wanted to do a video about um, hair care products that I use um, to keep my hair healthy. I used to have really, really badly damaged bleached hair um, and I could never really grow it because I didn't really know the right shampoos or the right stuff to use and then my ends would like break off because my hair was so dry. I can insert some pictures in here for you guys if you want to see. Um, so yeah, I haven't always had very nice hair. Now my hair is like this. Uh, I will put pictures for you um, so you can see. This is my hair right now. As you can see, it's in good condition so if you are interested in seeing the products that i use please keep watching okay so first off i have started well i've been washing my hair every like two to three days for quite a while now um probably the past couple of years um and it took me a while to, to actually build up to that because at one point in time I was very oily and you know I, I felt like I had to wash my hair every single day um, and I don't and, and even if you do wash your hair every day I don't think there's anything wrong with that especially if you work out you know it's like you know it, you want to take care of the scalp skin so you don't want to just sweat and then leave it there for like two days you know so the first thing that I do um, before I wash my hair is I will go in with a scalp treatment. Um, lately I have been struggling with some dandruff. I don't know, it, I just started getting dandruff for whatever reason and I, and I was looking it up like, you know, what exactly dandruff is from and it's actually from a fungus. I don't know if people are aware of that. Um, it's not like super bad or anything like that, but it's like you have to, you know, keep it at bay. So what I have learned is that um, it's like yeast kind of grows on on your your skin, you know, basically. And if uh, you don't properly properly exfoliate your scalp correctly, it will build up, and that's what causes the yeast to go crazy, and then you end up getting flakes everywhere. So. Um, I've used, these, these are my favorite um, scalp treatments for dandruff. Salicylic Acid Exfoliating Scalp Treatment from the Inky List. I really like this one. Um, or, I haven't used this yet, but I use it on my boyfriend because he has um, like subwork dermatitis in the back of his head and he says it really, really works for him. Um, or you could use, it's um, the Ordinary both popular things that I've seen people use before. The Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. You can use it on your scalp. You can use it on your scalp. Because um, what you want to do is you just want to exfoliate, you know, the top layer of your skin so that your skin cells don't stack up and, and build. And you want to keep it clear and clean. And so on the areas that I am flaking on my scalp, I will put this one on and on the areas um, that are not flaking just kind of like you know just for moisture purposes I will put um, pumpkin seed oil and I actually put a little bit of uh, um, rosemary in the pumpkin seed oil bottle um this is the one I, I you know this is the one i use but i just buy it from amazon and i just put it in there and then like i'll just put it mainly towards the bottom of my scalp down here hey guys it's me on another day i'm editing this video and i also wanted to add that um i like this other scalp serum it's um by the brand blue beautifly um, I'll link it down below and I'll pop up a picture right there for you so you know what it looks like. 
Um, that's also a really, really good scalp serum for like hair growth and stuff like that. Uh, so just wanted to add that in here too. Because all my flaking usually happens up here. Um, and then on the lengths of my hair, like here down, I will put uh, just straight up jojoba oil. Amazon. <laughs> um, as far as shampoo goes, I am very particular about my shampoos because I have realized that when I use cheaper drugstore ones, and I'm and I hate to make it sound like they're not good, but just in my personal experience, like every time I tried like any type of drugstore shampoo, I don't know, like it, it either dries my scalp out too much or it doesn't clean enough. You know what I mean? Like it's like one extreme or another. So I have found that I do well with sulfate free. Um, I will use uh, sulfate every every like week or two. Um, I use two different, I, I lied, three different shampoos. That sounds really extreme, but I kind of space it out whenever it depends on what I need. So the first shampoo that I use basically on a daily, or not daily basis, but mostly on the days that I wash my hair is the Purology Hydrate. Uh, it's, you can find this at Ulta. It, it's a little bit pricey, but it's, it's um, really concentrated. That's what it says on here, concentrated formula. So like you really just need a little bit and it goes a really long way. So this bottle will last me like almost two months, to be honest with you. Um, and I think it's like, uh, for thirty forty dollars, uh, on the days that I'm really struggling with flakes and like, you know, it's very apparent. I will um, go in first with this shampoo, and then right after I will go in with this one. It's Nizerol anti dandruff shampoo with the um, to control flaking, scaling, and itching from dandruff. Controls fungus that can cause dandruff. Um, and it has 1% ketoconazole, which when I use this, I wash my hair with it and then I'll keep it on. I'll tie my hair up uh, or use a clip in the shower and I'll just put conditioner on the ends but leave the shampoo on, on my head and I'll clip my hair up and I'll just let it sit there for like five, 10 minutes while I wash my body and all that. Um, and it works very well. If you are struggling with any dandruff or anything like that, I suggest you use this, but not only use it, but really just leave it on your head. Like if you can just, you know, walk around your house, do whatever you need to do while with this on, you know, that's just gonna make it work even better in my personal experience. Um, another thing, uh, like I was saying, I do use sulfates, is I use a detox shampoo just to kind of strip all I know that sounds bad, but to get off all the oil, all the debris, all the buildup from all the products that I use um, on my hair, because sometimes it can build up and then that can cause dandruff too. So it's like, you just want to keep things clean and clear. So this is the one that I've been using. Um, I haven't tried any other detox shampoo. This one is okay. I don't really love it. I don't really hate it. I don't really anything. I just know that it's good to do that. I usually use this one once every couple of weeks. Um, and the other thing that I do every time after I shower or wash my hair is I will use Kerastase uh, blow dry milk. It's like nourishing blow dry care. I'll put it up here on the screen. I don't have it with me, but I'll put it up here on the screen. And then I also mix that. I'll mix like maybe like a little dime size amount with the Olaplex oil. I think it's number three. Is it number three? I don't know, but you already know what I'm talking about. I'll put it right here. Um, so, and I'll put those two together and just put that on the lengths of my hair. It depends on how I'm feeling, whether or not I blow dry. Um, but that's basically literally everything I just showed you is all that I do for my hair. And it has gotten me very far. I have, my hair grows really fast. My hair is healthy. My hair has never been as healthy as it is now. Um, I cut it myself too. I don't really trust other people to cut my hair. 
because I'm scared, if you know what I mean, because I had a bad experience. Um, so, yeah, I think moral of the story is if you take care of the scalp skin, like your actual like skin on your head, um, your hair will be healthy and your hair will grow healthy. <laughs> um, I know it's not as simple as that. You know, I know some people have a lot of underlying problems that it may be harder to grow hair. Um, but in that case, yeah, I would see your dermatologist and get it looked at. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you try any of these things because I truly, it has really helped me out. Um, because my hair never used to always look like this, like I said. So if you like this video, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will be back soon with my uh, PM skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.